Now, the next category is for those programme makers who dig beneath the surface of the events that shape our lives. What they unearth is sometimes repugnant, often unsettling, but always produced with great integrity. To present these nominations, UTV Ireland news anchor, Alison Coman. Good evening. Now, it's been a year of upheaval and at times unpleasant revelation in Ireland, and our current affairs teams have been on top of their game as they investigated a series of national scandals. The nominees are... A secret buried, the mother and baby scandal. Ashamed that our country has so much hidden. Above the law... We always have to go lock in. But when uh, done that and he was uh, left in a wheelchair, the program, the program spread. Inside Bungalow 3, RTE Investigations Unit. She's now pinning Mary's arm down with her knee while forcing her to take a drink. Panorama, Britain's secret terror deal. Many of them were killers, but some of them were serial killers. The IFTA goes to Inside Bungalow 3, RT Investigations Unit. We'd like to thank uh, the women featured, uh, Mary Maloney, um, Ivy McGinty and Mary Garvin. Um, uh, sincere gratitude as well go to Sheila Ryan, Breed Dolan and their families for their support throughout the whole of this documentary and um, especially for ensuring that their sisters' stories were told. Special thanks to our sources without whom this film simply couldn't have been made and to our under undercover people who formed the backbone of this project. Thank you. And as head of the uh, investigation unit, I just want to acknowledge the commitment of the senior management in RTE to investigative journalism and to the unit over the last three years since we were set up in 2012, uh, in particular to Dave Nally, Kevin Backhurst and uh, Noel Curran. I also want to pay tribute to Barry and Janet and all of my team in the investigations unit. Every one of them come to work every day trying to make a difference. And when you look at Inside Bungalow 3, Fatal Failures, and some of the other programs that we've done in relation to crashes and that, I think we are having some success in that regard. And just to say that as we go into 2016, RTE's commitment to investigative journalism is there to stay and grow for the next 12 months as well. Thank you all. Thank you. 